Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode. Today we're going to talk about a Portain alternative. Today we're going to show you how to install Yacht. It's also open source and it's very simple to install on your Docker. It's more or less like Portain, but it's a little bit simpler. You find a lot of templates within this script. And today I'm going to show you how in few clicks how you can actually install it on Docker. I'm going to use a Proxmox container. And I'm going to use a core system from Proxmox. So I'm going to show you the full process. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share if you can, and click on the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a new video. Again, don't forget all the information in the description below. So let's go to Proxmox. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to download a copy of the Proxmox True Core. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to local on my VPS. I am in containers, I'm going to go to templates, and I'm going to search for core. We go to turnkey core, and I'm going to download it. Right, so that's been downloaded. I'm going to press X back to the VPS. I'm going to create a container. I'm going to create the host name. In this case, I'm going to call it Yacht. I'm going to change that one here because I made a mistake, a mistake on the actual spelling. I'm going to add the password. Go to next, change to the turnkey core as I said below. I'm going to add a storage. I'm going to say say 25 CPU. I'm going to give a couple cores. Memory. I'm going to give about two gig. Next, the network. I'm going to choose DHCP just for this installation. I'm going to leave DNS as it is there. I'm going to use the OS settings. So next. I'm going to not start it now and I'm going to press finish. Right, so the task has been completed. Let's go to the next one. I'm going to press X. Now I'm going to Yacht here and I'm going to go to option. I'm going to features. I'm going to edit and I'm going to make sure it's key CTL. And if not, nesting is already been clicked in. Make sure it's also selected. I'm going to press OK and when ready, I'm going to start the container. Right, let's go to the console. And as you can see, we are already there. I'm going to log in and I'm going to add my password. Now I'm going to leave this one. I'm going to skip it and I'm also going to skip that. And then I'm going to press install. So I'm going to the advanced menu. I'm going to leave it everything as it is. Go back to select, quit. And we got the first part done. Right, so now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to run an update. And as you can see here, we can actually run an upgrade. I'm going to press yes. And I'm waiting until that is finished. Right, so the update has been completed. Now let's go and start to install Docker. There are so many different ways you can do this. And again, all the information in the description below. I also got a guest done already. And you can actually install va Docker via script or the actual conventional way. You can find all the information on the Docker page. Again, don't forget we already logged in as a root, so we can do this by using setup the repository and all stuff. Again, this is a new installation, so we don't have to uninstall an older version. So this is what I'm going to use. Again, you can you're welcome to use the script if you wanted to. I'm going to link that as well, but I'm going to use the conventional installation of Docker. So the first thing I already done is update. update. Again, let's do this here so you can actually see it. And I'm going to install the repository and all the information that I need to get started with installation of Docker paste. And also I'm going to install the certificates and everything. So that's done as well. Again, guys, I'm not going to use the root as I am already logged in as a root. So I'm not going to use, sorry, sudo uh, as I am already logged in as a root. So I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to add the official GPG key. Paste that. Copy that. Paste it. And the problem there is because, as you can see here, we got sudo. So I got to remove sudo. As I did remove sudo in the uh, in the front, let me show you as well. But I forgot to remove this sudo. But now, as you can see, that works okay. 
So let's go back and let's do the command to set up the repository. So I'm going to that. Now it shouldn't be a problem here, I think. No, actually I need to remove the sudo. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy and paste. And I'm going back and remove this sudo. Again, guys, if you're not logged in as root, you want to make sure you got sudo there, all right? So here we go. Job done there. What we're going to do now, I'm going to do an apt get update. And then we're going to do the installation of Docker. Paste that. Job done. And we got the next line that is the actual installation of Docker. We're going to paste that. And that shouldn't really take that long. Right, so the installation went all right. You also can install a different type, you know, different version of Docker if you wanted to. All right. If you go on my gist, you can find, for example, this line of code to see if the status of Docker, right? That's something you want to check it out. Again, you can actually type it or you can actually copy and paste if you want to. As you can see, it is up and running and it works okay. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to install Yacht, okay? Now, let's go back here and that is Docker install. That's what we want. And this is what we're going to install. All right, so it's a safe hosted or self hosted um, alternative for Portainer. And again, there are many different ways. I'm going to just use it an easy way, right? Now you can actually use this one here, but I actually got here a proper easy to follow. Only two lines, guys, just copy and paste. That's how simple it is. And again, guys, you know me, to install, I don't want to create something difficult for you. So all you gotta do is just copy and paste. So here we go, uh, we go there, and we already copied the first line. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just right click and I'm gonna paste it. And I said the volume has been created. And now we're going to run the main line to install Yacht. Now I'm not gonna change the port as this is the only thing installed on this VPS or this container in this case. Again, you can use uh, VPS using DigitalOcean, uh, Linode is up to you, okay? Also, information here how to do so, okay? But again, it's exactly the same. All you gotta do is just copy and paste to make it easy for you. So now I'm gonna copy that and so I'm gonna paste that and I'm gonna press enter. And we're gonna wait until the installation is completed. All right, so it looks like that everything is up and running. I'm going to type docker space ps. And as you can see, Yacht is installed. Now, you might find that it will take a little bit more time to initialize. So don't get, you know, um, don't go that fast just in case it's still not working. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is IP ADDR. And I'm going to get the IP, in this case, is 187 with a port 8000. And as you can see here, we are already on the actual main page and greeted with the login page. Now, to log in, all right, so for the login, let's go back to here, I think. Here we go. We got the email that you need to use and the password needs to be changed as soon as you get inside all right guys so i'm gonna paste that i'm gonna say not now and don't forget to change the password here okay so that's important that you change the password so that's done i'm gonna change the user information and the password has been changed so i'm gonna click on that all right so now we got yacht installed Again, very simple to use. Of course, this is the actual container of a yacht. We got the templates. You can add templates by going here. Again, if you don't start it, you don't have any. Again, as portainer, you got a URL that you can add. You can add the actual default URL here. Let's call it templates. That will get you started. You can create more if you need to. If I'm gonna click on that, then you We'll see some default application where you can actually use and start to deploy. All right, so that's very simple and straightforward. 
you got some, you know, uh, the usual ones, you know, you can get with Portrainer as well. So this is, uh, again, guys, another uh, GUI for Docker to manage your containers. Very simple to use. Again, you can do projects. You can create projects. You can create uh, templates yourself. You can upload the actual templates yourself. Again, you can have images, volumes, and here you can manage networks. And also, like Portina, you can create new networks if you wanted to. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for joining me for this short tutorial on how to install Yacht on Docker. Uh, again, on this tutorial, I also show you again how to install Docker on a turnkey core using Proxmox. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and share. Subscribe if you liked it. And I'll see you uh, again next time for a new tutorial. Thank <laughs> you.